an insider source reported that Queen Camilla's unexpected reaction at the most recent Balmoral meeting caused significant disruption among the royal family, particularly shocking Princess Catherine and, and Princess Anne. The summit convened important members of the working royal family to deliberate on the prospects of the British monarchy and confront the adverse consequences of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's activities along with King Charles and Princess Catherine's health concerns. However, the meeting unexpectedly unfolded as a dramatic event. According to a reliable source, Queen Camilla's anger was clearly evident as she struggled to maintain composure while addressing Princess Catherine's place in the monarchy. This reaction occurred in response to Prince William and Princess Anne's substantial efforts to reorganize the monarchy by reducing royal expenditures and introducing a new cohort of royals. A very contentious component of this proposal was to remove Camilla's son and daughter, as well as her sister, from the royal payroll. Furthermore, younger members of the royal family, such as Duchess Sophie and Princess Catherine, assumed several significant royal responsibilities previously held by Camilla. Camilla was allegedly dissatisfied with the decision to move important tasks from her to Duchess Sophie and Princess Catherine. Her exasperation reached its peak at the summit, resulting in a furious altercation that astonished both Princess Catherine and Princess Anne. Camilla's acerbic remarks about Princess Catherine's suitability for these positions left the room in shock. Queen Camilla has played a prominent role in the royal circle since her relationship with King Charles during his marriage to Princess Diana. In 2005, the then Prince of Wales married Camilla Parker Bowles. According to reports, the Queen Consort originally had negative feelings towards Princess Catherine. Royal biographer Christopher Anderson said that Camilla saw Catherine as being outside their social circle and displayed snobbish tendencies. Additionally, Anderson said that Camilla feared encountering Prince William and frequently experienced discomfort in his company. Starting in 2023, Duchess Sophie and Princess Catherine have taken up various important responsibilities formerly held by Queen Camilla. These functions consist of patronages and symbolic tasks essential to the monarchy's operation and public perception. Duchess Sophie has acquired responsibility for many charitable associations and public engagements while Princess Catherine is currently taking on positions that include direct interaction with the public and representing members of the royal family at important occasions. For example, Duchess Sophie has taken on the role of patron for the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children, a charity previously held by Camilla. This charity plays a crucial role in safeguarding children throughout the UK, and Sophie's involvement reflects the royal family's ongoing commitment to this cause. In addition, Sophie has assumed duties related to the Royal Osteoporosis Society, a cause Camilla is passionate about due to her commitment to raising awareness about osteoporosis. Conversely, Princess Catherine has taken on roles that require a strong public presence and active involvement with diverse populations. She has become the patron for the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, which prioritizes mental wellness, wildlife conservation, and veteran care. People view Catherine's involvement in these areas as a natural progression of her ongoing advocacy for mental wellness and her passion for the welfare of children. The well-documented tension between Camilla and the younger members of the royal family, particularly Prince Harry, has often been a topic of discussion. Prince Harry detailed in his biography, Spare, how he fervently implored his father to reconsider marrying Camilla and accused her of spreading fabricated narratives about him and the royal family to the press. A conflict between Camilla and younger generations of the royal family resurfaced when Prince William terminated the employment of Camilla's sister, Annabel Elliot, from the Duchy of Cornwall Peril in July, William took this action as a strategic step to gain control over his staff's management of official papers.
Princess Anne, renowned for her pragmatic attitude and steadfast dedication to the monarchy, has reportedly endorsed Princess Catherine in assuming these royal responsibilities. Anne's relationship with Camilla has grown more turbulent over time. When it came to Angela Levin, the royal authority, Anne initially found Camilla's presence unsettling and strongly opposed the idea of Camilla receiving the title of Queen Consort. Levin said that Anne had previously predicted that Camilla would never achieve the status of a genuine queen. Although Anne and Camilla initially had a difficult beginning, their relationship has gradually improved. According to Levin, Anne's perception of Camilla improved when she saw her unwavering commitment to her royal responsibilities. Nevertheless, the latest eruption of emotions at the Balmoral summit has revived tensions, leaving Princess Catherine and Princess Anne in an atmosphere of astonishment. Princess Catherine, famous for her elegance and poise, was reportedly surprised by Camilla's blunt remarks. Insiders said that Catherine experienced profound emotional distress due to the Queen Consort's comments. Catherine has always strived to perform her royal duties with unwavering commitment and modesty, and Camilla's sudden display of anger seemed to undermine her diligent efforts. Princess Anne, a steadfast advocate of the monarchy, was likewise astounded by Camilla's response. Anne has consistently understood the need to maintain a cohesive and unified stance within the royal circle. She supported Princess Catherine's assumption of these positions because she believed that the younger generation should have the chance to contribute to the future of the monarchy. Prince William, known for his unwavering commitment to safeguarding his wife, was reportedly very distressed by Camilla's remarks. Externally, William has always displayed a courteous attitude towards his stepmother, although this particular event has tested his capacity for forbearance. Royal analysts claim that William's desire for a more effective and streamlined royal operation motivated his decision to reorganize the monarchy and shift responsibilities from Camilla to younger members of the royal family. There is a split in public opinion over this issue. Princess Catherine has received widespread sympathy for her commitment to her royal duties and efforts to modernize the monarchy. She has garnered overwhelming support on social media platforms, with many people commending her for her graceful handling of the matter. Specialists have provided their analysis, with some suggesting that Camilla's outburst indicates underlying concerns about her position within the royal circle. Richard Fitzwilliams, a royal expert, suggests that Camilla's ongoing struggle for acceptance by the royal family may have influenced her response. Camilla has consistently faced significant challenges in gaining complete acceptance from both the general public and members of the royal family. This outburst may be an expression of her frustration and insecurity, Fitzwilliams stated. Others have pointed out that reorganizing the monarchy is crucial for its long-term survival. Renowned historian Robert Lacey emphasized the need to adapt to changing circumstances to maintain relevance. Lacey highlighted that Prince William and Princess Anne's strategy to simplify processes and include younger royals is a positive and appropriate move. After the Balmoral meeting, it is uncertain how the royal family will handle this recent incident. The future of the monarchy depends on its members' ability to collaborate peacefully. The perseverance and determination of Princess Catherine and Princess Anne will undoubtedly have a significant impact on the monarchy's future direction. Following Queen Camilla's emotional outburst, the royal circle must now confront the task of preserving cohesion amid internal tensions. This incident highlights that even in highly esteemed institutions, human dynamics and emotions can significantly influence decision-making and relationships. Ensuring the monarchy's lasting relevance will depend on its ability to reconcile tradition with modernity. The unexpected drama at the Balmoral Summit has drawn attention to the intricate and demanding situations faced by the royal family. Princess Catherine and Princess Anne were astonished by Queen Camilla's sudden outburst, 
while Prince William's intentions to restructure have sparked much debate, eh, public sentiment and professional analysis emphasize the monarchy's need to adapt to changing circumstances while maintaining cohesion. The perseverance and determination of royal family members will play a crucial role in shaping their future as they navigate this next phase.